Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, we get started here on 24 hour temperature cast. Got some numbers bubbling around in the upper 30s, some in the lower 30s. A cold start out there this morning. Going to be another cold one tomorrow morning. I think this afternoon a little different than yesterday. Those top temperatures aren't going to get up near 70. Instead, they're probably going to struggle reaching 60. A little cooler air mass settled in. And yeah, we've got another cold night on tap for tonight. A lot will hinge on how quickly the clouds get here. I do think we'll keep those clouds at bay at least into early tomorrow. So we are probably looking at temperatures that can get all the way back down near freezing in many spots again tomorrow morning. So a lot of us probably needed to cover up those plants last night. We'll probably need to do it again tonight. Maybe we get a break from that for one night with some rain chances coming by tomorrow night. Now there's not much on the satellite radar composite around here yet, but that's going to change. We do have a little breeze at times, so some of those temperatures that are near 40 are feeling a couple of degrees cooler. Some of those temperatures that are in the mid 30s are feeling a little bit cooler too. As long as that breeze continues out of the north, it will absolutely make that air feel just a little bit colder than it is. That little bit of a bite to it. We're at 40 degrees officially at the Tallahassee Airport right now. It's 35 in Valdosta and we're at 34 in Thomasville. About a few more temperatures. We'll see a 30 up in Blakely, usually one of our cooler spots. In Camilla and in Dothan, Alabama, it's 32. In Marianne, it's 33. So north and northwest, that's where we got some of the cooler temperatures. But even Cross City's down to 39. So we've got some chilly temperatures all around the region. Only a few hanging on to 40 this morning. That breeze from the north, definitely noticeable and likely will still be as we head into the morning hours. It should relax a little bit more later on this afternoon and tonight, and that's part of the reason why I think tonight those temperatures get even lower for many spots and probably going to find some frost around the region tomorrow morning depending on the cloud cover. With those clear skies, with that breeze, no visibility issues for us. Any clouds that we're seeing so far this morning are down to the south, and that's likely where they're going to stay. That's where that old boundary is, and high pressure building in behind it. That's going to be our big weather player for just one day. Everything's moving pretty fast. We call this an active weather pattern. When we get a bunch of small and quick moving systems that get in, out, and done with us, and that means we keep things moving and we have to stay on our toes for the next seven to 10 days. It feels like this pattern is going to last. So high pressure slides away. We get like one day of clearing. Then the next and the first piece of energy gets developed, moves through our area, brings with it some rain chances. It feels like the warmer and the more unstable air is going to stay offshore. So I don't think we're talking big thunderstorms with this one. But by the weekend, another piece of energy and early next week, a third piece of energy are all going to follow a same quick moving path. And that likely means several chances to get wet over the next seven to 10 days. So be ready for it. Now on the future cast, it may be just a little quick bringing in some of those showers before lunch tomorrow. I think we're talking after lunch and into the evening and nighttime hours. But anyway, you look at it. Tomorrow's going to be a day to have those umbrellas handy. I do think showers are going to be a big part of the forecast, especially as the day goes on. We should clear up a bit on Thursday. That's temporary because by Friday we start to bring back the clouds and that next piece of energy scheduled to get here on Saturday, and I think we're going to continue this all the way into the middle of next week. Now the winds are diminishing on the Gulf. We'll have that cooler sunshine. Those breezes out of the northeast and east early, more like 14 to 18 knots later, more like 8 to 12. Anyway, you look at it, we'll call it breezy out there and those seas one to three feet. This morning, it's 30s and 40s, mostly clear and cold. Sunrise, 734. This afternoon, I think we stay in the 50s today. Maybe the warmest spots give 60 a scare. Decent sunshine, but cool sunshine. Tonight, we're going to see those temperatures really bottom out unless the clouds take over. Doesn't feel like they're going to early enough. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, we up those rain chances by the afternoon, by the evening. Those rain chances go away by very early Thursday morning. A little clear up for Friday before the next chance to get wet coming again on Saturday.